So this is just going to be a quick video to show you how to set up your Facebook Messenger plugin on your Shopify store. Now, I'm sure you already noticed that if you're on Shopify already, there is the option to set up your Facebook Messenger sales channel. Now, this isn't a bad option as it does give you the ability to chat with your customers and it gives you some uh, sorts of uh, marketing features, but I personally don't like it a whole lot for the overall experience. Uh, basically, because what happens when you use the Messenger sales uh, channel, it when you interact with it as a customer, it takes you away from the website into either your app on your phone or into a new page on your uh, desktop browser. And I never like when something takes you away from the store. Uh, you work so hard at getting uh, the shopper, the visitor to that store. Why direct them away from it? So basically it's just not the best uh experience in my opinion um you know if the customer gets brought away from your store they can get distracted they could end up on a different site just from you know clicking around so i'm going to show you a way to make sure that everyone stays on uh, your site and that they can still use the facebook messenger uh plugin which is free and it just connects to your facebook page um, so to just show you a quick example, this store is running the Messenger sales channel. And to show you what I mean, when you click message us here, it'll take you away from the page and load your uh, Messenger app. And it would do the same if you were on uh, your app. So what I'm going to show you is if you go into your Facebook uh, page, so the one that you're the admin on or the owner that uh, goes with your Shopify store, and if you click settings and then go into messenger platform, uh, scroll down to the bottom. I don't know why Facebook doesn't make this very uh, visible or that uh, easy to find, but you go down and you go to the customer chat plugin and then you click setup and it's gonna bring up a little install wizard here. So just go through the steps. Um, your first step here, you can change the, the greeting message if you want by clicking change here. You can also change the language. Um, on the next page, you can change the color so you can brand it a little bit more to uh, your uh, site's colors. And then on the last page here, this is the important one. Uh, you wanna type in your website domain. This is just my testing themes, one that I use for all my videos. Um, and then you can either email the instructions to your developer, developer, or you can do it yourself. And I'm just gonna show you how to do it yourself. So uh, over here, just click on the clipboard and that will copy the code that you need. And then you want to go into your Shopify store, go online store themes, and then click actions. Now, if you're not very comfortable with editing code, I would suggest uh, duplicating your theme. It's always a good practice to duplicate your theme before you uh, go around and kind of mess around with the code because uh, if you have to mess something up, you always have a backup. So go into edit code and then you will want to go into your theme.liquid uh, once this loads. So once you're in your theme.liquid, you wanna scroll down and find the opening body tag. Now on the debut theme here, it looks like this. You can see the opening body tag. It might look a little bit different depending on what theme you're using, but basically you just wanna look for the body tag. Uh, then just hit enter and always give it one extra line just to kind of space it out. And then you'll wanna paste that code you copy from Facebook and you'll see a little comment up here. So you can see that that's your Facebook code. Um, just to show you quickly, this is my test site here. There's no messenger app on it yet. So go into your theme, paste it, uh, then click save. And then that's basically all you have to do. You can go back to here, click finish. It'll give you a thanks, uh, hit done. And now when I go into my, uh, test theme here, when I refresh it, you'll see uh, the little messenger app pop up in the corner. So I hide that. I just give it there. So you can see the messenger icon here. And if you click it, you can now see that it opens up right on the page here and you can have a conversation right from uh, 
the page itself so it doesn't take you away anywhere and anytime a visitor uses this and sends a message it will just send a message to your facebook page so just make sure that you have someone who's keeping an eye on your facebook page messages or if you have the app downloaded on your phone you can keep track of it that way and this is nice because you can upload pictures if you want to show uh, so if you're a visitor and you want to show support or question or something you can upload images right through here uh, if you want to check out the um, Facebook page or you know view on messenger and mute conversations you can do all of that with here within here as well so I just think this is like a good free option if you're looking to have live chat on your store and you don't like how the Shopify one functions overall um, I also think it's great just because it integrates everything with Facebook so if you're active on your Facebook page uh, then it's kind of you know keeping everything all in one compared to if you have someone managing one app someone managing Facebook page conversations and so on uh, so yeah so I hope this video uh, you find helpful if you do please uh, just like the video share it subscribe to the channel any sort of support always helps a lot and I'm gonna try and keep up with making uh, more videos now that I have a little bit more free time so uh, thanks for watching and I hope this helped